So I think it's been close to two years now since I put the headlights on and the uh, foot switch for the rear control of power output to tow the sprayer. And I did record some big long video stuff, uh, but editing it is a pain and I just ramble on in the videos as I'm prone to do. So I'm just going to do a quick rundown of the basics of what I did. So these are two Amazon special LEDs. You can get an official light kit for this thing for a few hundred bucks, but these are like $15 a pair, maybe 20. Uh, watch your amperage output. These will be rated in watts, and then they'll, if you divide by 12, should give you amps. They may have an amp rating. This thing, I'm not sure what it's rated on this Kawasaki, but it's probably a 10 to 15 amp output. Remember, we do have an electric clutch we have to account for, so we don't want to have, you know, real high power up here. Um, not the best wiring job tied together duplex wire this is jacketed duplex wire you can get it at Amazon or any auto parts store and basically it's just got two wires you know power and ground and an extra shield and that is the jacket and the jacketed so ran that down up under the channel here some zip ties to retain it uh, there is on this particular mower a factory spot for the switch and the sticker just covers that spot, so I got on uh, DigiKey, ordered a switch, put it in, didn't tie into any of the factory wiring, it's just hot all the time. Came off of here with a fuse, you definitely want this fused directly up there to that switch and then feeds back out to the lights. Uh, so then the other wire is back here, and if I want to plug in the tow behind sprayer, right here but instead of having to run the long wire up like normal it's got the switch in line i actually put that foot switch up there but it is also fused right here 10 amp i should never draw more than 10 amp out of that i shouldn't try to and then running up to the front so that i don't have to doubt whether it's on or not we have an indicator led Nice and bright, we know power's on back there. Now we know power's off. This is a dimmer switch. They used to use these for the high-low dim on headlights on old pickups and cars. Uh, if you look up like a, say, a 1970 Chevy C10, or really any Chevy pickup or Suburban back then, but just do a C10. Uh, this is a headlight dimmer switch. One of these will be power in and then one side is hot on the power out in one position and the other side is hot in the other position. So right now that terminal is probably hot on output and you hit it with your foot and this terminal becomes hot. And that's how you dimmed your lights back in those days and you just stomped it with your foot. So now the zero turn, you've got both hands up here. You don't have a free hand to operate a switch to turn your sprayer on and off You can do it with your foot. And yeah, that's about it. Well, uh, materials that are easily available, supplies that are easily, readily available. Um, any auto parts store will probably have these. Finding somebody who remembers them. I only remember them on old vehicles from when I was a kid. Uh, but it is uh, just a handy foot switch. So this is a headlight dimmer switch. Uh, probably through the early 80s, some vehicles still had them. But if you look at anything older than that, I just looked up on Rock Auto. A 1970 Chevy C10 pickup headlight dimmer switch and there you go they're pretty much all the same there may be some difference in lengths or difference in the width on the bolt pattern but otherwise they're all the same concept so yeah now I can spray in style you know you want to shut your sprayer off as you make your turns to make your next pass so you don't have to take your hand off or stop you don't have to take your hand off the controls to uh, turn the switch you can just do it right there and you don't have to look over your shoulder to see if you're on and spraying you know right there hey I've got power on time to turn it off so anyway yeah that's about it I know there's a lot of people putting headlights on their mowers now you know for about 15 bucks you can do this uh, if you've got some basic wiring skills um, you can get the fuse holders at any auto parts store you can buy them in bulk on Amazon the wire again and any of the connectors you need you know online or auto parts store uh, a whole lot cheaper than buying a $200 official kit and fairly straightforward if you're much of a DIYer.